So uh, when do you think evil came into this reality? I don't know, but let's examine Genesis 1. I have several videos about Genesis 1. It's a reset story. We were told that it's the creation event. In the Jewish narrative, it's the creation event. But the Jewish narrative was copied from Babylonian records. Well, they didn't really realize what they were copying because if you read Genesis chapter 1, you find real quick that Genesis chapter 1, verse 1, and verse 2 have a gulf between them. Something happened. Even 200 years ago, scholars were calling it gap theory. Finnish Jennings Dake in the Dake in the annotated Dake Bible had the greatest explanations I have ever seen for gap theory. But it shows that something terrible happened to the world in between Genesis chapter 1, verse 1, or, or in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. That's a colophon. It's absolutely independent seven-syllable sentence that has no connection to the next verse. That's the first verse in the Bible. Because in the next verse, we have a totally destroyed wor world covered in, covered in water that suddenly the Spirit of God hovers over and it begins to give it life. Well, I'm going to tell you something now that I've never revealed in a single video. That word in Hebrew for spirit of God hovered over the waters is nef. K, it's, it's nef in Hebrew. But in Egyptian, K-N-E-P-H, nef was the spirit of the phoenix. What we have conveyed here, now I've told y'all Genesis chapter 1 was 3895 B.C. A new heavens and a new earth were created because the old system had been reset. The destruction was so complete that a new human race had to be made. And that human race was told by God in Genesis chapter one, be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth. The very first commandment out of God's mouth was for humanity to fill the earth again. That implies that the earth had been destroyed. Now, and this is what the scholars of 200 years ago were talking about, especially like A. Palmer Smith. Many authors in the 1800s, they were real big on gap theory. And they were showing from ancient Near Eastern texts where the Jews had got this information. And those texts show that there was a cataclysm. There was a huge distinction to be made between Genesis chapter 1, which is a standalone statement, and Genesis chapter 1, verse 2, which starts an entire narrative about a world that has been destroyed destroyed and it is being re-enlivened. It's being renovated. So this is a...